Today we're going to read This Little Scientist, a Discovery Primer by Joan Hollop and Daniel Rude. Wait a minute. Who's that? It's me. Oh, hi, Dumaru. Yeah, I want to be a scientist when I grow up. Oh, that's nice. Um, what are you going to study? I want to study sea animals, since I'm a sea animal. Oh, okay, that's cool. Bye. Okay, well, it looks like we have one scientist here. I don't want to become a scientist, but I really like science. Oh, really, Turbo the Turtle? Yeah, it's so cool. Yep, it is. I really like studying science at class. Okay, well, it looks like we have lots of scientists here. But, uh, let's see. Which scientist will inspire you? Let's see. By reading this book. This Little Scientist, a Discovery Primer. Asking why, then making a guess. Asking how, then providing with tests. Little scientists make great big discoveries. Isaac Newton. This little scientist said we walk on the ground because gravity stops us from floating around. Isaac Newton also found a rainbow of colors called a spectrum inside a beam of light and figured out three rules for how objects move. Maria Sibylla Marion. This little scientist painted bugs everywhere, laying eggs, eating leaves, even flying midair. Maria Sibylla Marion's paintings explain such things as how caterpillars turn into butterflies through a change called metamorphosis. Marie Curie. This little scientist did experiments to show that atomic energy made uranium rocks glow. Marie Curie studied invisible atoms that give off energy particles she named radioactivity. She was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in chemistry and physics. Hey, I want to share something. Oh, hi, Piku. So, um, basically, I, I don't really like chemistry and physics, but I really won a Nobel Prize for math because I really like... I really like math, and I really want to become a mathematician. Well, did you know that math is a kind of science? <gasps> no, I didn't. Well, fun fact. Wow, that's cool. Albert Einstein. This little scientist had wild white hair. He was famous for writing E equals MC squared. Albert Einstein's equation means that energy and mass are the same thing in different forms. He said nothing can go faster than the speed of light, 186,282 miles a second. I don't know why, but everyone at my school calls me an Einstein. I don't know if it's named after this guy or I don't know, but I do know that, well, weathering is crazy. No wonder he's an Einstein. He literally learned about weathering. Okay, next one. Grace Hopper. This little scientist wrote code that was new to tell computers in words what we want them to do. Grace Hopper programmed computers in words instead of numbers. She, popul you, she popularized the term computer bug when a moth flew inside her computer and broke it. Um, 
I know. Pop. Why is it a hard word to say? I understand how you couldn't say it. Makes sense. Katherine Johnson. This little scientist got the math right to help NASA astronauts launch outer space flight. Katherine Johnson solved hard math problems. On paper, before trusted computers were available, so space heroes like John Glenn could safely orbit the Earth. Jane Goodall, this little scientist studied chimpanzees and made friends with them among Africa's trees. Jane Goodall discovered that chimps hug their friends and make tools like spoons. Out of sticks. Before this, people thought only humans made tools. Um, you know, I am the king of a planet, but I also like building stuff with tools. Like, have you even seen my tool garage? Sorry. Saw Lan Wu. This little scientist has a brilliant spark. She helped find particles called gluon and charm quark. Saw Lan Wu studies particles, the smallest building blocks of our universe. An atom's protons and neutrons are made of quarks stuck together by gluons. Stephen Hawking. This little scientist studied outer space surprises, like mysterious black holes that form in many sizes. Stephen Hawking made big news by explaining how some particles might ex- escape black holes, which have gravity so strong that everything nearby falls into them. Neil deGrasse Tyson, this little scientist. Helps us understand how our universe works, and how it began. Neil deGrasse Tyson visited the Hayden Planetarium as a boy, and got excited about stars and planets. He grew up to be the director of the planetarium. Quarks, robots, or DNA. What would you like to discover someday? There's all these other scientists that weren't mentioned. There's Zhang Hing, Galileo Galilei, Carl Linnaeus, George Washington Carter. He loved peanuts. So do I. Also, don't get confused. We're different. Yeah. Alfred Wegener. Howard Carter, Annie Easley, Patricia Bath, Mario Molina, Mary Anning, Charles Darwin, Louis Pasteur, Srinivasa Ramanujan, Rachel Carson, Rosalind Franklin, Cynthia Breezel, Miriam Mirzakani, and then you. Oh, 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 oh! It's not you. It's me. So if you want to be the scientist, then um, well, think of something else because I'm going to be the scientist only. Hey, Dumru, that's not fair. Everybody has the same dream. Sometimes, some people want to be president. Some people want to be a firefighter, policeman, doctor. Many people have different dreams. So you're not the only one who wants to be one. So, yeah, you're not the only one. Okay, fine. Thank you for reading with us. Bye.